friends welcome to my workplace at rana ghat west bengal india this is a cataract with small people the size of the people in this case about 4 mm nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 3 i have decided to use a people expansion device in this case and the device i have in my hand today is kanabrava's ring invented by dr sergio kanabrava from brazil by this time all the incisions have been made and now i'm going to stain the anterior capsule of this cataract with trypan blue dye and here goes the trypan blue 0.06 percent dye and now the dye is washed out and now i have to fill up the anterior chamber with viscoelastic substance here it is it is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose since i'm going to use a people expansion device and some flanges of the device is to be placed behind the iris i'm injecting some visco behind the iris so that there is a room to accommodate the device and this is kanabrava's ring it has got four square flange four rectangular flanges and three triangular flanges and two hooks you can place the four rectangular flanges behind the iris or three triangular flanges and two hooks behind the iris in this case i have decided to place the four rectangular flanges behind the iris so the four rectangular flanges will be tucked behind the iris and three triangular flanges will be above the iris and two hooks will be above the iris this is one this is second the other two flanges are similarly tucked this is the third and this is the fourth fourth rectangular flange tucked behind the iris and the two hooks are on either side of the main incision so two hooks and three rectangular flanges are above the iris and four rectangular flanges are behind the iris this is a two plane device very thin device but it is not as thin as the b hex ring and now this is capsular rexis the anterior capsule has been incised with a 26 case bay needle now i'm using a utrator forceps to do capsular rexis the people has taken a round shape and looks fantastic In case of Meleugen ring the people takes square shape in case of bhex the people takes hexagonal shape but in this case it takes almost a round shape except the part where there is a gap and now hydro dissection is to be done bhex is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim and the nucleus is stabbed and the nucleus is mobilized so the nucleus has rotated nicely and now the tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber after injecting some visco first 
the tape is introduced bevel down and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up I planned to do direct chop but I crossed the central area and I could not hold the nucleus. So I have decided to do a little sculpting and divide the nucleus into two halves. Rotate the nucleus 180 degree, do some more sculpting and divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is being further divided into small pieces, but in this case I was not able to hold the lens matter. So, just used vacuum to tilt the hemonucleus and emulsify it. And see the device is nicely in place, keeping the people nicely dilated, very stable. It is not moving in any direction. Yes, the nucleus has been managed and now you can see the rexis clearly. Now cortical matter is to be removed. I have used a 23 gauze Simco cannula in this case to remove the cortex. So cortex is being removed from inferior aspect first and now from 3 o'clock and 2 o'clock and now the sub cortex is removed. And the posterior capsule is clean So I inject viscoelastic substance and an intraocular lens is being placed in the capsular bag. Hydrophobic acrylic monofocal intraocular lens. The trailing haptic is placed in the capsular bag and now the lens is nicely in place. And now the flanges which are behind the iris are disengaged. The holes in the flanges are used to pull the device centrally and it gets disengaged. And now the device is to be removed. 
on end is held with the MacPherson's forceps and then the device is rotated and it comes out from the anterior chamber. And now the viscoelastic substance is being removed first with Simco cannula I'm irrigating the capsular bag at this moment now irrigating the anterior chamber and the viscoelastic substance is coming out through the main incision Now the irrigating probe of bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used to irrigate the anterior chamber, anterior chamber angle, the capsular bag, thorough removal of viscoelastic substance is very much essential. Now irrigation and aspiration both are being used together. So the device can be used in either way. Dr. Sergio Canabrava has described the rectangular flanges as the upper part and triangular flanges as the part which goes behind the iris but it can be used either way so it doesn't matter which way you introduce the device function is same this is closure of the side ports corneal stroma on either side of these side ports are being hydrated and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber there is no damage to the sphincter people is round so s this is a very nice device and it is it is very good in small people with coloboma iris unique device where other devices cannot be used but this device kanabrava's ring can be used in coloboma iris sincere thanks to Dr. Sergio Canabrava who has sent this ring to me and I'm very happy to use this. Thank you very much for your attention.